Hi, I'm Mark Morales from the Cedar Rapids Gazette, Jeremiah Davis from the Cedar Rapids Gazette. We cover Iowa football. We're in this wonderful, beautiful building of uh, the Hanson Performance Center. It's NDSU week, North Dakota State week. It's a week where I think, Jeremiah, can Iowa win the perception battle? You know, Ferentz basically gave that the Jay Cutler don't care meme. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too worried about perception. I've never really been worried about that. But um, I'll go back to our 09 season, uh, you know, that first ball game against you and I that year. and. Um, you know, we were very fortunate, as, as you know, you were at the game, extremely fortunate to win that, uh, win that ball game. We had a pretty good team that year. So, you know, that, that illustration right there is just, you know, when you play anybody that's good, and you and I was very good that year, they've been pretty good traditionally. Uh, North Dakota State, ditto. I mean, just, you know, it's, you got to get ready to go. And we'll let other people worry about perception, all that kind of thing. And but there, are, you know, people do vote, you know, on rankings and all that kind of thing. And Iowa fans want to see a beefier, non-conference schedule, I don't sure. think they can win the perception battle. Probably not. I mean, anytime you're facing a team that isn't in your division, it's, right. it doesn't matter how good they are. It, it, you're, if you lose, you lost to an FCS team, even if it is North Dakota State. Now, I guess I would, uh, having come from covering FCS for the last three years, I would right. uh, side a little more that this is the exception to that mm -hmm. in a way, but still at large, people who don't know the FCS are, oh, okay. That's a throwaway game, and so you, you can't win it. Mm -hmm. You can't win that battle. Mm -hmm. 63 scholarships versus 85. There's a math there that um, people can't get in their minds, but as Phil Parker came in and uh, told his defense, well, how, many, how many of you guys have won national championships? <laughs> right. Five of straight now for uh, North Dakota State. That's impressive. I don't care what level of football you're on. Number two, Iowa has some injuries. Medically, uh, I think we have a good chance to get Parker Hesse back. He's back working more extensively. I'd kind of compare him to where Jay Shield was a week ago. Uh, James Daniels hasn't been ruled out. We'll see what he can do. Uh, he's moving around pretty good right now, so we'll play that day by day, but we certainly can't count on him. And then, like always, you know, you've got a handful of guys that are, you know, day by day. We'll just see how they respond during the course of the week. And, Hopefully they'll be ready at kickoff. If not, we'll play with the guys that we have. Lucas Legrand back in at center this week. He was semi-happy with his performance, I would say. Uh, James Daniels out at least another week. Knee injury there. We, we walk into the building. Akram Wanley's got ice all, all over his, I want to say it was right yeah, knee. Yeah, it was right knee. And uh, something that he, he had going into last week wasn't a big deal. There are several themes, I thought, that the Iowa players kind of hit on what they're being fed from coaches. Mm -hmm. That North Dakota State is basically Wisconsin heavy, yeah. you know, they're, they're kind of comparing them to Wisconsin. And one thing that every player knew, uh, five straight wins against FBS teams for North Dakota State. I mean, they're a physical and tough team. Um, they're almost like a big ten, uh, you know, opponent. They like to run the ball right down the middle um, and do things like that. So really, we got to pre uh, be prepared like any other game. I'll be really focused on this one. They're a really tough team. Uh, their offensive line, they, they come off the line ready to go, and, and their running backs run the ball really hard. And, and you know, that's, that's a similar team to us and guys that we play in our conference like Wisconsin. Yeah, no, we got a lot of respect for them. I mean, they're, they're a great team. They've got, I mean, five, five national championships. That's, that's crazy. You know, I don't care what conference you're in, F FCS, FBS, they've, they've came in, and, and I think they've beat you know, like eight and three since seven and six against FBS opponents. So, I mean, we've got a ton of respect for those guys, and, and uh, we know that they're going to come in here with bringing their best and expecting to win. We just got to you know, play our best football. So you can kind of tell what the theme is this week. Uh, they're kind of treating North Dakota State like a Big Ten team. Well, they, uh, I think a handful of them brought that up unprompted. Like we asked what they, what they thought of North Dakota State, right. and they're like, oh, they play like a Big Ten team. Who? Wisconsin, Michigan State. So it's not like they're saying, it, it, you know, they're respecting North Dakota State at a level that you would expect them to respect right. a Big Ten team. Right. And I think that says a lot to what they see on film and what North Dakota State's been able to do. They're, they're a legit college football team. They're not just a really good FCS team. Right, the term FCS. I went to an FCS school. <laughs> um, I enjoyed it. It was good. Um, uh, Northern Iowa, uh, they, I think one of the last teams to beat North Dakota State. Um, I think so. Well, other than uh, who they, South Dakota beat them last year, uh, okay. and, and, but other than that, yeah. I mean, North, Northern Iowa has had had their number more than anybody else, and uh, Northern Iowa hasn't been able to win a national championship. So you can tell that North Dakota State is on a, just a whole different level, mm -hmm. even among FCS teams. And I think Kirk pointed it out: twenty straight 
playoff wins. Yeah, that's amazing. Which is absurd. It yeah. doesn't make any sense that yeah. a team should be able to do that with, I think it's three different starting quarterbacks, four different starting running backs, and different leading tacklers. It doesn't matter. Two different head coaches. Right. It just doesn't matter. There's something about that program just that has it figured out. I'll leave you with this. How many of you have won five straight <laughs> national championships? I don't know, Nanny. You won one this summer. Uh, three, actually. Three. <laughs> Big timer. <laughs> Thanks, Mark, Jeremiah. Thank you very much for watching.